Welcome back, everyone. I got a special guest here today. It's my wife. Hello, everybody. What we she's decided to do is she wants to roast some of my old videos and to see how far we've come in this. So what we've done is pick the best of the best, or worst of the worst, if you want to call it that. Uh, let's get into it, though. Welcome back, everyone. I think I found a good one from Bay Area Transparency, who in my opinion is one of the biggest liars because he goes way out there with them. I don't know toddlers that act the way he does. He is going to be taken down and detained with force. The end of this video has the best walk of shame you will ever see. So let's go have some fun with this one. Okay, first video, first opening, what do you think? I think my lazy wife needs to stop recording while she's in the shower. I was not in the shower. It was the cheap equipment you got us, or got me, whatever. Oh, sure. Blame the equipment. I don't like you anymore. I think we're going to move on. <laughs> like they got cameras everywhere around here. To start, I want to show you all how he is dressed walking up to a parole office. Nothing suspicious there, right? Bored now. All right, you see what I mean by this riveting content that I always talk about to you? Riveting? I, I'm really, really going to need you to explain something to me. Over a thousand people sat through the first 10 minutes of this terrible video, bored out of their mind. I mean, seriously, get a life. I tell you, I cut, this video was easily probably an hour long, maybe. And I, I had to cut it down to 17 minutes because it was just, it, it was all that. <laughs> it is the most boring content I have ever seen. I think we can all admit we've walked through parking lots. We know what they look like. Um, what do you mean my content's boring? Not your content, their content. Oh, thank you for the clarification. We may move on now. You What was that? I was just taking pictures around the area. All right, we got contact. <laughs> what? Camera. Yeah, I got a camera. State property. Camera. Public property. State Don't property. touch my camera. You cannot do cars here. You cannot here. touch my camera. Call, this is public property, this, sir. I, You're a parole agent. Vehicles. You can't grab me. You can't grab me. Come on. Ow! Ow! Let it go. Ow! Let it go. Ow. You can't do you that. Why are you choking me? Get off my 
Stop choking me! Stop choking me! Stop choking me! You're a parole agent! You can't grab me like that! Get off me! What's wrong with you? You can't grab me like that! You grab me to the ground? Get my glasses back! So what do you think? He got his he just got his ass handed to him right off the bat. No questions asked. Just slammed to the ground. Uh no questions asked. I'm pretty sure a toddler would have seen him being asked to put his camera down. Well, yeah, but it's his right. His right? He is in the parking lot of a law enforcement agency. Well, that is not his right. It is a probation office, and there is a heightened security in around the probation office. But as they say all the time, this is my God-given right. It's in the Constitution. Oh, for Pete's sake. Toddlers understand this. Elementary school kids understand this. Why can't grown adults understand this? I'm grabbing my glasses. You'll get it there. You understand? I'm grabbing my glasses. You understand? You'll get it there. I'm not trying to fight you. But you don't come to the cut. I'm not trying to fight you. Back here. Put your hands back on here. me. Where's my glasses? By here. I'm not. Get out of here. I'm not trying to fight you. Now you read what he wrote, right? He said, my life flashed before my eyes. But the only thing he cares about is where's my glasses? Because they can see his face now. And where's my phone? He also says, I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. But remember what he's wearing and where he is? He escalated the situation in the beginning. So he got what he deserved, in my opinion. Oh, hello, pretty lady. You're in your slow rise entrance into these videos. You actually look like you are about to sell me some sort of multi-level marketing campaign. I mean, come on. What is up with these transitions? I know we were calling this a roast, but you're really starting to bum me out. That's, this is how, I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to keep the picture stable. It, it, it rose itself. Excuses, excuses. Why can't it be a phoenix coming out of the fire? No, it's gotta be a insurance salesman. Insurance salesmen? Nah, they have more clout than you do. <gasps> Clutching pearls. <laughs> yeah, call the TV. Give my glasses and throw my phone. You can't just take my stuff. You're a parole agent. You ain't even a cop. Well, no. Come back here again. Come back here again. Quit touching me. Quit touching Recap. Afraid for his life. And I cut out a part where he was babbling on and on in his intro. But there was one part where he said, I spent the night in the ER and they gave me multiple x-rays and CT scans. So if all that happened, why do you do what you were about to do? And wait till you see the walk of shame. It is epic. Okay. Soapbox is out. You are in fear for your life. Seriously. This is what he said. Fear for his life. And yet he goes and seeks out the people with the guns. Um, that's not how people who fear for their lives act. Not just that. He said he had multiple x-rays, a CT scan, and he spent the night in the ER. I can't wait till you see the end of this. And if you were in that much pain and you had to spend the night in the ER, I think that you wouldn't have gone back in. And like I said before, there was no call for medical. All he did was, oh, you hurt me. Can we please just talk about for a moment that this guy is saying that he is standing up for our rights and if this asshat really did spend the entire night in the ER and get all of those testing, um, that's being paid for by taxpayer dollars because you decided to insert yourself into a law enforcement situation. I never thought of that. I'm sure he doesn't have any kind of insurance, so he probably is on the taxpayer dime. I just can't with these people. You understand? Okay. No, no, I need her name. I need her name. This bitch tackled me and choked me. She tackled me and choked me. What's your name? This is open to the public. It's open. Yes, I can. It's open to the public. Am I being detained? 
Am I be then it's open to the public. I need her name. No, no, I don't care. I don't have to listen to nothing you say. What's your name? Name? Name. Okay. What's your name? Name? Okay. These, these and this is the one that slammed me and choked me. Right here. Yes, you can slammed you me you and choked me. I can. I'm not detained. I can walk up anywhere. I'm not doing nothing. You guys say. Well, shut the door. Oh no, no, I can go in. This is open to the public. Slam me and choke me. This is not. This is open to the public. There's public information right here. You see, the police aren't doing nothing. You idiot, dude. You can't. I have heard I need names and badge numbers, but not one call for medical or that he was even hurt just what allegedly happened. He has no need for any assistance to stand or walk. The police do try very hard to help him, but it had to be his way or no way, so he gets what he deserved. I have to say, there was a vast improvement with you helping me now with my little picture inserts or video inserts, whatever. A vast improvement? Like the difference between somebody pooping in a diaper or pooping on a toilet? Wow, you have such colorful analogies. It's it's impressive. Oh, it's a gift. You can't slam me into they walk right up to no no no. What we're doing is he needs to be in handcuffs. I have the film, I'll show it to you. He walked right up to me, slam me and choked me. That's it. I'm gonna talk to you outside. That's it. No, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna film. Okay, then we're gonna then we're gonna get up on out here, okay? Okay. There's nothing more for us to do here. Uh, I'll file the paperwork. You're saying there's nothing more for you to do? What'd they tell you? What'd they tell you? They didn't tell you? Well, then go do your job and then talk to me. <laughs> it don't, they've been holding me and my phone for an hour. They ripped my glasses off my face. They're probably all scratched up. They slammed me to the ground, fucking choked me. Didn't even say a word to me. Walked right up, slammed me, choked me. Boom, that's it. They said, what are you doing? I said, hey, I could do this. I was on the ground. That's it. He can't even keep his story straight. Which is it? Did they not say a word? Or did they tell you to stop filming? Because I heard a longer conversation than just that. Or did it walk away, smug, self-assured? So smug. Like he thought it was funny, like this. Really? You had to insert that smugness? That was just a picture. I wasn't being smug. Being smug? That was the definition of smugness. We looked that up in the dictionary. There's that face. Yes, but I wasn't being smug. I think we can all agree, tell me if I'm wrong, everyone, that this entire exercise is an exercise in smugness. All right, maybe I was a little bit smug. Started pulling out pepper spray, threatening to beat me up. Yeah, it's, and it's all on camera back there. So let's get him, right? You slammed me and choked me. Is that correct? Come on, let's get his side. Yep. You see how I can do this now? You see how I can do this? You see how I can do this? Do you see how I can do this now? This dude needs to be gone. California State Parole. This guy needs to be gone. This is Robinson. He needs to be gone. This guy had just assaulted the shit out of me. Beat me up in the back. Stole my phone. You are correct, sir. Yes! It ain't, I didn't want a response. I... He doesn't want a response as he's asking for like, share, and subscribe on his page. Hmm, hypocrite. I just gave, I just gave Martinez a shout out today in Martinez PD. I'd rather highlight police officers and peace officers. You walk up and slam somebody when, for no reason and then detain them when you're a peace officer. You don't even have authority to detain somebody. I wasn't here and also you it doesn't matter. Investigate, because now the camera's on you. I'm watching you. Investigate. You're not even talking to the individual that's involved. Well, Investigate. You're so loud. Investigate. Well, I wanted my phone. Okay, so Wouldn't you want to your way to, to document this? What? Wouldn't you want that? No. You would want to have a way to document this if this what? happened to you. you so now investigate. Well, a... I can handle this investigation. You were clearly the instigator. You got what you deserved. Case closed. Ah, you say case closed with all the confidence of a new parent who thinks they just got their four-year-old to bed. That kid's coming back any second. You know, it's funny. I think this is the second or third time you've, re you've referenced a child. 
And that's the way I look at them every single time. So it's not just me. Yeah, they're pretty childish. Well, I'm a chill. You investigate. To do that. If you want to come down to the police report to the station and do that. No, I'm, I'm here right now. Investigate. You had a chance to do that. You were just. Okay, so you're refusing to investigate. What's your name and badge number? Luciano. Luciano. Five, nine, six. Okay, he's he's refusing to investigate because I was pushing to get my phone back. What's your name and badge number? Because you're in it too. I'm giving you an opportunity to come investigate. No, no, no. Okay. Talk okay. to him. You're not going to tell me how to investigate. It. Talk to. Boom. Roasted. Yeah, Talk to him. Okay. Talk to him about what happened. You need to get a statement. I, I can be in there. This is public. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I need you to investigate to him. Investigate. Investigate. I'm telling you right now, there's. you have to take a police report. There is a crime that happened. I was assaulted and battered by that parole officer. Investigate. Is his brain stuck on stupid? They are trying to investigate, and you aren't helping at all. You're just making things worse. <laughs> Here comes sexy, seductive, frauditor comedy show up for another slow rise. On camera okay. and on their cameras. So I want you to go get a copy of their cameras for your police report. It was There's two cameras in the back, and it happened right on those cameras. Okay. So go investigate. Like my partner was saying, um... Head on down to the Concord Police Station. So now instead of the, the police doing it while they're here and everything's here, they're just refusing unless I go down to the police station. This is, a, you're, this is sort of hostile right now. I don't, I'm asking you to investigate. There's nothing hostile. We have, we go investigate. That right now. But I you didn't. Here's the thing. Well, the first thing you should have done, Luciano, listen, the first thing you should have done is get me my phone so I could record and then it would have been, uh, uh, I would have been quiet. See? Okay. Let's play the fact game. Fact. You instigated the confrontation. Fact. You escalated the situation. Fact. You hindered the investigation. And fact. You lied throughout this entire video about everything that happened. Fact. 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 It's like you're hitting me with some sort of, like, repeating weapon. You know, that really hurts my feelings. I was stating facts. Really? They kind of sounded like objective truths. Well, they were objective facts. I like that. Okay, I'm telling you I'm reporting a crime. Are you walking away from me reporting a crime? Yep. Because these are this is state parole, they're walking away from me reporting a crime right now. This is Concord PD. They have just lost their jobs. I'm telling you I'm reporting a crime. Are you walking away from me reporting a crime? You're walking away from me reporting a crime. I'm being very loud. I know you can hear me. You're walking away from me reporting a crime. Do you understand that? I am reporting a crime. I needed my phone to document. Okay. There you go. Concord PD just walked away from me trying to report a crime. Act like an asshole. You're going to get treated like an asshole. He walks back to where he was afraid for his life, complaining the whole way. So let's pick it up there, to the place where he was in fear for his life. All right, remember earlier he talked about his life flashing before his eyes. He was terrified. Yeah. Uh huh. And, and here he is back banging on the door. We'll we'll see it in the next clip. Wow, he really acts like the type of person who is just so scared. Oh yeah, he's so scary. He's very he's scared. He needs a diaper. Oh, and he needs a diaper change. A big time. I need a complaint form, please. We actually have a supervisor. We, we, we contacted. Give me my complaint form. You don't, you're not a pro lead. It don't matter. Are you a pro lead? It don't matter. It's called a peace officer's complaint no, we form. We have what's called an appeals form. Yeah, it, it, I don't need a 602. It's a citizen's complaint. It's different. Look in your Title 15. It's called a citizen's complaint. Well, I'm to explain to you. It's the supervisor up above. I just called him. What he's doing is calling. We need to call to see what we, documentation we need to give you. If you are pro I will give you appeals form. I don't know what else to give you right now. You won't give me your name. 
I have no clue who, who you are, who you represent. It doesn't matter. I'm not on parole. Now, do you realize I'm allowed to do this 100%? I Why would you walk up to me and slam me? I have no idea who you are. It doesn't matter. You you, you, you can't you like look, right Robinson. I gave you an answer. Human to human, bro. You can't walk you up and slam people. people. Human to human, stop treating people like this, and your fake fight for our rights, because there has never been a march for the right to film in public. Me and my friends and family fight for our rights to exist every day. Fuck your right to film in public. Fighting for our rights. His channel is still around, and he's still fighting the good fight. Oh wait, I hear a soapbox coming up. Did you hear the soapbox coming up? Because I'm over here trying desperately to keep my cool. <sighs> find a happy place, find a happy place, find a happy place. He literally wants to talk about his right to film being an actual human rights need, an actual protected constitutional privilege when there's actual human rights violations happening in this country actual people who are homeless who can't afford their groceries who can't get their kids into daycare who are having their everyday rights taken away from them as gays lesbians trans people women you d okay calm down calm down you don't understand we need this we need the right to film in public you d you just don't understand He's going to keep explaining it to you. Don't worry. Oh, is he going to explain it to me? Oh, goody. I'm trying. We're trying to de-escalate this, I, I man. Do me a favor. I called who they called. I called Sacramento. When he faxed me the form or whatever, I will call him back. What's it called? I will call him. A, a citizen's complaint. I'm just saying, I'm why would you know, walk? Why would you walk right up to me and slam me? You could have just talked to me. You're a public servant. You do have to talk to me. Because no one can get a word in. He just keeps talking over everybody. They ignore him like the police did. Now pay close attention. He's walking around and complaining. He still has no trouble walking or moving his head around. Also, his story is now escalated beyond ridiculous to what actually happened in the incident. But wait, his walk of shame is coming up. children and they scream look at me look at me mommy mommy a lot less than this guy you know what i find funny uh this was supposed to be a roast of my video and all we've done really is roast him <laughs> well, you're pretty weird and pathetic too but he's just so <laughs> infuriating ow 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 oh, did i hurt your itty bitty widow feelings no i don't have any you have to give me any forms I ask for. I need a Title 15 and a 602 ASAP. Dude, these are the most foul parole officers I have ever seen in my life. And they went and snatched my phone, wouldn't give me my phone back at all. And then the cops refused to investigate because they said, oh, that's what he wants. We're out of here. Well, he was too loud. He's talking too much. So they refused to investigate me being beat up. Dude, I mean, he slammed me, choked me, detained me for an hour, told me I had to sit down, tried to make me sit down, said they were going to pepper spray me. It was to a point where I finally told him no. He tried to handcuff me, too, but I told him you can't handcuff me. I ain't going in cuffs, and I pulled away from the cuffs all for recording. And his reasoning was, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. That's his reasoning. Forms. Wait, why are you limping? I don't know. What do you mean documentation? I need a title 15. Okay, I need a copy of your cameras. I need a copy of your, then I need a, a Freedom of Information Act so I can get a copy of your cameras. Hey, then you better figure it out. All right, I'm staying here. I, I, I can't even walk now anyway, so I'm staying. This is all they'll give me right here. Ah. Oh, do you see how much pain he's in? All of a sudden. Yeah. I'll just send you some thoughts and prayers. Oh, 
get those thoughts and prayers going because I am worried. I mean, he's saying he can barely walk. He must have a cervical fracture. He is in a lot of distress. Why aren't they calling for help? Uh, because he doesn't need any? Oh, oh, okay. But wait, here comes the walk of shame, and I believe this is going to be your first walk of shame. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, oh for her phone. <laughs> They said you wanted a citizen's complaint form? Yep. <sighs> she gave you a pearly one, so you want this one. As promised, here's that walk of shame. <sighs> She's still talking shit. She can clearly see I'm hurt and fucked up. She don't care. This is the heartlessness of these people, man. It's this is fucked up that I even have to document this. I shouldn't even have to document any of this. I shouldn't be filming myself. I should be walking away saying these guys did a good job or the interaction wasn't that bad. Like what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take for there to be real change? within the system. Is it gonna take more of us getting killed, shot by these people? Or, or are we gonna start refining the hiring process and making sure these individuals understand they're not here to hurt everybody? Well, what do you think? Was that fun or what? That was one hell of a walk of shame. This was a lot of fun. I had a great time. I would love to come on back another time. If everybody wants more uh, Fraud or Comedy Roasts and Fraud or Comedy Wife, Put more wifey in the comments. More wifey. All right, everybody, don't forget, hit that like, share, and subscribe at the bottom, and check out our new memberships that we have. You can get a whole lot more Fraud or Comedy Show.